I started masking in in California and we would hold these events where we wanted to have a ball we wanted to do sort of like the Victorian thing but we didn't want people to come with masks on we wanted people to show their faces instead of hide their faces and so we decided just to paint on our faces and that would be our mask we started to realize that this is something that's universal that's been practiced by humans for as long as humans have been humans you know they say the first paintings weren't on the walls of caves but were on ourselves and so we were tapping into this really ancient powerful practice and when I left California and I went back to the East Coast, I really was missing that culture and that community and that powerful art form. So I decided to just start doing it here. I did a project called Month of the Mask where I masked myself every day for a month. And that was just like a totally revelatory experience for me. And I learned so much not only about myself, but about my world and my relationship to my world and kind of my calling in a way. So the next step was to try to bring this artwork to other people since it had been so profound for me. And so that was the year of the Mask Project where I used it as a platform to tell people stories. And now with this masquerade ball, it's almost like a, like a culmination of now bringing this to my entire community.